Hey! So this is day 19 of the 30 day art challenge and I'm going to do another painting, not a pour. And the inspiration is to do a painting that uplifts a friend to encourage them either by a vision of a, something or a word or a scripture. And this is for my friend Felicia in New Jersey. She was a YouTube subscriber and she joined the mentoring program that I am in with Matt Tommy and we've become good friends and um, she's a super strong Christian woman and she's had quite a lot of tribulations like we all have through the years and she's lost a daughter to cancer and she has a husband that's very sick and so this is my video for Felicia to encourage her to stay strong you're a good Christian woman and you do a lot of good things especially in your community the job that you do with working with women that are pregnant and misplaced and are in this home where you work and I just want to say I really admire you I think you're a super strong person and a beautiful woman of God and I'm really proud of you and the person that you are and I think that your artwork is going to go great places she uh, she does acrylic pours but she also loves to put texture into everything that she does she makes her own paper clay and sculpts things out of it and she's just really talented so I wanted to encourage Felicia and so this painting is going to be inspired by her so I want it to be very abstract um, so I'm just going to sketch in kind of a female body and it's not going to be it's not going to be accurate as far as proportions and stuff it's just supposed to represent her that she's given her all and that she raises her hands up and her hands are gifted She's a woman of strength and so I just want to celebrate her strength with her hands and um, so this is going to be very abstract and this is just a generic shape and I'm just going to paint it in kind of, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to let let it flow. I don't do people. So this is kind of harder for me anyway. That's why I want it to be very abstract and not really not really, you know, it's not perfection and it's not supposed to look like her. It's just supposed to represent a woman and the strength that comes from her. This is 11 by 14 canvas. Zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to be using Arteza paints. I really like them. I have just got the set of 60 that I've used several times already since I've gotten it. And I love the, uh, the richness of it. And excuse the table for shaking and it will stop here in a few minutes.
I lightly sanded the canvas because it was kind of a <coughs> kind of a rough texture. I'm not sure where I got the canvas from, but just kind of a rough feel. I don't know Felicia's favorite colors <clears throat> and I'm going to use multiple colors. I'm going to use warm earthy colors and I'm going to contrast it with the cool because I know she uses aqua in her painting sometimes. So I'm just about wrapped up 
for this painting and this is not what I envisioned in my head but it's what it turned out to be <laughs> so I guess my inner voice was telling me to do this and not with what I had started out in my mind. So I wanted it to portray her spirit, the essence of her spirit, the goodness of her spirit, the gift of her spirit to other people, the mentoring and the great example that she is to young women, the way she gives back. So I hope that this is portrayed in what I'm feeling about Felicia. And this painting could be representational of many, many women that I know that have fought a good fight and they're strong, courageous women, women of courage and determination and exam you know, good example and just everything a woman should be. Someone with a soft spirit not a, um, when I say put up a good fight, I'm saying she stayed strong through thick and thin with a very gentle spirit. That's what I want to portray. So I hope I've done her justice. Her little business that she started, where she uh, she makes her repurposed creations, where a lot of times she makes it from paper she's recycled and other things that she's found, objects and things like that. I'll have to pull it up on my phone to make sure that I tell you the right name because I don't want to say the wrong name and you think that it's somebody else. She's on Instagram as New Life Creations 11. So she just started her channel a while back and I'm encouraging her to move forward with confidence and um, I have no doubt that she will succeed. So this is this one is for Felicia and all the strong women out there who are such fabulous examples to their community of what a good woman should be like. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did.
This is golden bronze, no, golden copper. It's not a real reddish copper, but that, that's what I'm squirting in that has a little bit of iridescence to it that shimmers just a little bit. So I'm going to combine the two. that shimmer along this purple. So it's been multiple days since I've done a pour, and I'm really dying to do a pour, but um, I'm also trying to stay on top of this 30-day challenge. So I don't think I'll get to do a pour tomorrow, but I posted one recently that I had saved. Well, it was one that I done, had done recently, but it was an extra one. Experimenting with Arteza and Oatrol instead of Floetrol and not getting any cells, which was the goal, was to not get any cells. So it, um, it, I was pleased with the experiment. It was a really bright green painting. But um, I am really enjoying this 30-day challenge. It really makes you have to think a little bit outside of the box, which is good. It's good to challenge us as artists, as creative people. I think I'm done. There it is. And let me zoom out a little bit. So it's it represents female. It's a strong woman, an angelic feel to it, but one that just shines out with that giving spirit, and there's some shimmer on her that's gold, and there's a little gold in the, the dress or the plumage or whatever you want to call it, but um, there's some shimmer in there. Um, so I used a little bit of metallics. I had a beautiful sapphire pearl color that's gorgeous, and I used that too. So this is my representation of a very strong and good, good woman. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more. There'll be all kinds of fun stuff coming down the pipe. Thank you.